G'day guys, I'm JV with JV Adventures. Just a bit of an update video for you guys today. I want to talk a little bit why JV Adventures is looking a little bit more like a fishing channel at the moment and less of an adventure channel. So I'll get into that for you a little bit later guys. Also want to give you a heads up on what's coming up on this channel in the next couple of weeks and months and so forth. Basically the problem we're having at the moment guys is the second wave of COVID's come through in 2021, which you all know. Uh, that makes traveling and adventuring a little bit tricky because I'm locked down and can't go very far. So as far as full wheel driving out west in Birdsville and the desert and stuff like that um, is off the cards at the moment. The same as going down south, up north. A lot of those trips have been postponed. They're still on the cards for this year. We've got big trips planned for the later on in this year to head up north and down south and out west and stuff like that. Um, but it's all just come to a screaming halt at the moment and basically been restricted to fishing videos and some fishing missions. You, um, not, not a bad thing, I love my fishing. Um, unfortunately, I'm fairly new to lure fishing. I've been bait fishing all my life. Um, it wasn't until a couple of months back before this channel started that I'd finished work at about 11 o'clock at night and decided to do some bait fishing under a bridge and there was a heap of bait fish getting, getting smashed. Um, it was absolutely bouncing out there. And so I took my pilly or my pilchard, however you want to pronounce it, and I threw it out and landed it straight bang smack in the middle of that. And this big mangrove jack, 52 centimetres, this mangrove jack was, absolute stonker. Still haven't hit my 60 centimetre, but I'll join that club one day. That's on the bucket list. But yeah, I threw this pilchard out and this jack came up, hammered it. Um, I was bait fishing, so I had 10 pound monofilament and that was it. I didn't have a leader, I didn't have braid, I didn't have anything like that. I just had a hook and a sinker and some pillies or pilchard and threw that out there and yeah he just smashed it and it was a good 15-20 minutes of trying to get this bloke in finally got him in and oh my god did that beat anything I'd ever caught before you know going from like whiting, brim, maybe some Moses perch or something like that this guy was just phenomenal absolutely just insane fish to catch especially on bait I didn't expect it and um, I learned very quickly that I, that was a massive fluke so yeah, I thought, I want to get into this. I want to catch more of these guys. So I jumped onto YouTube. That's what we all do. I jumped onto YouTube. I looked up mango jack fishing, fishing, all these sorts of stuff in my local area on the Sunshine Coast, um, Bundaberg, you know, just that southeast Queensland area, all, all along there, trying to figure out how I can get onto these guys. And no one's using bait to catch these things. No one's using bait. They're all, using, they're all flicking lures for obvious reasons. Uh, you guys will know a lot more about it than I will. Like I said, I'm just learning and figuring out how to do this at the moment. I'm enjoying it. I'm absolutely enjoying it. I think it's awesome. It's got that primal instinct that I think's in our DNA somewhere. Um, you gotta find where the fish are and you gotta get that lure in front of them. And it's, it's, a, it's very much a hunt um, and a skill set that I'm still trying to perfect. But yeah, so I jumped online, jumped on YouTube to figure out how to catch these guys, where these guys are, all that sort of stuff. And apart from all the American stuff with bass fishing and things like that that were coming up, there wasn't too much in Australia for catching mango jack. There was a fair few videos on there. Um, you guys will know them. Um, a bunch of guys on the dragon kayaks getting out. I've uh, got nothing against dragon kayaks. They're probably an awesome kayak. I just don't have one. So I can't really make a comment on that one. They're probably great kayaks. I mean, they get you out fishing, so they can't be terrible. Um, or any kayak, but a lot of kayak fishing videos getting out there, people going down estuary systems in these kayaks, pulling out big fish, um, some dudes are taking them out offshore or past, you know, past the waves at least and fishing for GTs and, and all these insane things, barracuda, uh, tuna, you name it, they're doing it out there. And it was awesome, I was like, I want to get into this, this is what I want to do, this, this is great, they're the type of fish I want to get onto. But no one's telling you what they're using. Um, that's sort of the downside of the fishing fishing world is that if you're catching fish somewhere you're not telling people where it is and you're not telling them what you're using um, so I'm sort of going against against that fishing grain um, with this channel at the moment is because if I catch a fish I'm going to tell you what I'm using how I did it what the plan was and then you guys can tell me how I fluked it again because that's probably what's going to happen to start off with but yeah I was, I was looking into it and there's a couple of videos out there, there's a couple of guys out there that are, that are pretty good and they're telling you their locations and, and maybe the, the jigs they're using or the, um, like the squirrels and all that sort of stuff, um, which is good. But there's not a lot out there, so that's, that's something that I want to focus on. And that's one of the reasons it's looking like it's a little bit of a, um, a fishing channel at the moment, because that's what I'm restricted to doing. I'm super enjoying it, I hope you guys are. If there's any specific 
tips or tricks you guys can give me, throw them in the comments. Um, if there's any locations you know in southeast Queensland or um, anywhere along the eastern coastline of Australia that I can get to with COVID at the moment, throw it in the comments and I'll hit it up. You know, um, any sort of fish for me is a good fish at the moment and I'm enjoying learning. And yeah, hopefully I can get better at it and um, produce some decent fish for you guys. So trips planned for this year, depending on COVID. Obviously we've got some northern trips up to Bundaberg, um, a little bit more north than that to Airlie Beach and Proserpine and stuff like that, up to the reef, do some diving up there and some fishing up there, up to Cairns and to the tip and stuff like that. Obviously there's some great four wheel driving up that way and hopefully some great fishing up that way as well. Uh, we've got a couple of trips out west planned, head back out to Birdsville, the Simpson Desert, um, Popel's Corner, all that sort of stuff. I'm super psyched, I can't wait to do that stuff, but we just sort of hurry up and waiting at the moment. There's an army term for you. Yeah, once we get the OK from COVID that we can go to these places, we'll be going there and we'll be filming this stuff and getting it uploaded to you guys as soon as possible. Um, we've got a couple of trips down south, the Great Ocean Road, obviously a massive one. Victorian high country something I've always wanted to do and I can't wait to get trusty dusty or the mighty trident out there I think basic four-wheel driving. I mean that truck's got no aftermarket parts full -wheel drive wise uh, It's got a couple of spotties on the front because I like night driving and the rest of it's basically just camping camping stuff like a fridge and a rooftop tent and stuff like that, but it's stock full -wheel drive wise, you know, it's um, it's an independent front suspension so which that means the front suspension moves independently, which makes ground clearance a little bit tricky. But at the same time, if I was to try and put a lift kit on there, one, I have no idea what I would be doing. I know enough to know that if I wanted to do a four inch lift kit, that would mean a lot of fiddling around with that front end with all the CV joints and all that stuff that's under there. It's just gonna, a four inch lift is gonna put that at a massive weird angle. And as soon as I hit a pothole in the road, everything's gonna start snapping and making my life misery. I could probably get away with a two inch lift, but again, I wouldn't know where to start and I just don't have the finances to do something like that. But I also like the idea of taking a stock standard vehicle with just a little bit of recovery gear. When I say a little bit of recovery gear, I mean like the standard amount of recovery gear that I think every four wheel driver should have. Um, I'm not supported by anyone yet. Guys, if you're out there, four wheel drive equipment, I'll take it. Um, but I've got stuff like Max Tracks for the sand and the mud. Those things are just insane. Uh, it doesn't have to be Max Tracks, any sort of traction pad or whatever you want to call it. Max Tracks, um, there's Tread, there's a couple of other ones as well, I'm not sure. But the Max Tracks work good for me and they're just versatile. You can use those things for anything. And for someone like me that's got a stock standard four wheel drive that's built and designed to be able to take stuff on a job site on a little bit of mud maybe, and I'm taking it in places that it's not really designed to go, but it's got the it's got the grunt, and it's it's so much fun to take a stock standard four wheel drive, four wheel driving. I think you learn more about your vehicle, and you learn more about what you need on these sorts of trips instead of going out there and having all this stuff and maybe not knowing how to use it or when it's supposed to be used or if you're going to need it and never use it. You know, you see some of these blokes have got these big jacks on their car or they've got the snap straps and they've got a wind they've got all this stuff and then they don't even have the basic recovery points put on there they've just got the you know the stock standard tie down points not great but i'm not judging i'm still learning with most things in life as we all are i think but yeah taking a stock standard four-wheel drive out the desert up north stuff like that i mean there's a couple of things i'm gonna have to do to it before i do a north trip like the telegraph track or something like that. Obviously, I'm going to have to put a snorkel on there um, because it's going to be a solo drive. I probably will install a winch bar and a winch at one point so I can self-recover. I think that's just a necessity if you're going to go by yourself. If I was going with a bunch of people, um, I'd be fine. I've got snap straps and usually someone in that crew would have a winch or something like that, but I just don't have that liberty at the moment because I don't have any friends. Cut. But yeah, that's just not something that I can do. Yeah, a few trips like that. Um, we've got some trips down south. Victorian high country is another place I can't wait to go, especially in a stock standard full drive and see how it goes. Obviously, there's some aftermarket stuff I'd love to do in my truck. Um, simple things like lift, a snorkel, a winch and a winch bar would be bloody... Uh, not bloody. A winch and a bull bar or a winch bar um, would be great because I'm doing most of this stuff 
by myself, um, apart from anyone that's helping film at the time, but usually they're in the same vehicle, so it's still only one vehicle traveling. So having a snatch strap and no one else is not very handy. So a winch will be super handy, but they're all things that are on my bucket list and my wish list to do, and hopefully this year we'll get to do them. So stick around, stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe the channel, hit the notifications so you know when these videos drop, because as soon as COVID lets us go do this stuff, we're going to be out there doing it and filming it and getting it uploaded for you guys. So stick around. So yeah, as far as the fishing missions go, guys, you know, I've got a couple of things on the bucket list I want to tick off there. Obviously the main ones are like your meter barra, your 60 centimeter jack, um, your meter jewfish, things like that, meter flatty, all that sort of stuff we want to tick off this year. Um, any big trips we do do where we travel up north and down south or out west or wherever we go, um, I can pretty much guarantee I'm going to be flicking a lure somewhere and if I catch something, it'll be jumping onto this channel to show you guys. Another thing we're looking into doing this year, guys, um, obviously being ex-military, being outdoors is something that I enjoy doing. Um, so I've got a couple of survival challenges coming up, whether they're 24 hour, 72 hour, 48 hour, uh, whatever it might be. We've got a couple of them coming through if you guys want to see that. Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. That's uh, definitely something I'm into doing, um, as well as just getting out in the bush in general and just setting up camps, um, doing some rock climbing, stuff like that, you know, just being out there and living, living life. Anything I can do basically that COVID can't stop me doing is what I'm gonna be trying to do at the moment, you know. If COVID can't stop me from doing it, I'm gonna do it. Um, whether it's fishing, hiking, camping, um, solo survival challenges is another one that we want to do this year, whether it's 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever. Um, whether it's out in the bush or it's on an island somewhere or in the desert, you know. If you guys want to see something like that, leave a comment below and let us know and we'll definitely get onto it. It's something I can do. It's not restricted by COVID, which is good. Um, I think the only thing that's restricted by COVID that we're having troubles with at the moment is the travel. How far we can and can't go north, south, east or west is basically dictated by the government at the moment um, for obviously health reasons and things like that, which is completely fine. Um, but it does make it very tricky to upload some decent videos to you guys on a weekly basis when I'm stuck with um, being restricted to fishing and things like that. Um, I love my fishing, but the fish definitely don't love me as much as I want, want to catch them. They have other ideas. And like I said earlier, I'm still learning how to do the, um, the lure fishing side of things and track these fish down and get the lure in front of them. Just bear with me, we're getting this stuff going. Obviously this channel's not getting up as fast as I wanted it to. COVID sort of bent me over and kicked me in the butt with this one at the moment and sort of restricted a lot of things that we can do here with JB Adventures. So we're racking our brains and trying to get this content out to you guys. So if you do like it, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, turn the notifications on so you know when the movies drop. Uh, we drop movies on a regular, regular basis. Scratch that. We drop videos on a regular basis weekly, um, usually on the Friday, but see how we go, you know. Um, blah, 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 blah.